Hi, this is Ashlyn with Bellevue Avenue and Ashlyn May Photography and I'm going to do a quick tutorial for you to show you how to use the flower petal overlays. So all you need to do is go to File, Place, navigate to your flower petal overlays folder and then you can use any of the petals that would fit your image. In this case I want to use something red so we'll start here and while I have the box here I can resize this so I'm going to go ahead and resize this down and move it over around here then click place then we'll pick a few more and just keep working on these That's all, about all I want for this one. So what I'm going to do is, you can see that it's pretty sharp around the edges, so it doesn't fit in with the image well. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of a motion blur, just to make it look like the, the flower petals are actually falling. So what I'm going to do is click on this one first, and then go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and play around with it till it looks like it fits the feel of the image. So I like how that one is, and then let's go ahead and do these. Filter, blur, motion blur. Okay, and then this one back here, I actually want to blur it out so it looks like it's more in the background. So I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and have it about right there, and then lower the opacity just a little bit. Now I like how these ones look, but this one doesn't look right, and the reason is, if it was falling here, it would cast a shadow on her hair. So what I'll do is use Dodge and Burn and just burn a little bit under her hair to add a shadow. So I'm getting the Burn tool, exposure around 20, and let's just add a little bit of a shadow here. There we go. So that gives that a little bit of a more realistic effect there. So that's all there is to it, and you can play around with all of the different colors and petals and create beautiful images with these overlays. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and that you have fun playing with our flower petal overlays.